Hi everyone, good morning. So I am Sir Raymond from the Department of Mathematics and Physics. So for today's video, we are going to teach you or I'm going to teach you how to compute your GPA manually. Alright, so on the board, you can see there the sample copy of a student grade, a student's grade uh, for the first semester and later on for the second semester. So I guess uh, this student is an education student. So for the first semester, the student has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight courses or subjects with a corresponding grade and the corresponding units. All right. So for us to be able to compute the GPA, we have to know first, of course, uh, the student's uh, grade and the corresponding units. And this one, okay, so here we are going to multiply the grade and the number of units. So you have to prepare a calculator para mas dali na to compute. So I have here my calculator. So first is you have to get the product of uh, this subject. Uh, 125 times 3, so that's 1.25 times 3, that's 3.75, right? So, 1.5 times 3, that's 4.5, this is also 4.5, um, 175 times 3, that's 5.25, and then 2.25 times 3, that's 6.75, and then this is 3. Now, as you can see, for the Physical Education 11 and for the NSTP 11, the corresponding units are 2 and 3 respectively, but it is enclosed, or these grades are enclosed by a parenthesis or by parenthesis. It means that uh, in the computation of your GPA, these two courses or subjects are not included. Alright? So, pwede na to a leave us blank there. So again, in computing your uh, GPA, uh, physical education and NSTP are not included. So right now, you have already the corresponding product of your grades and the number of units. So the, the next step we should do is to get the sum. Now all you have to do is to add all these values here. And then you have to divide that one to the total number of units credited. Right? So that's 3.75 plus 4.5 plus 4.5 plus 5.25 plus 6.75 plus 3. That's 27. Okay. So that's 27.75. You divide that one by the number of units, excluding the physical education and NSTP. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 times 3, that's 18 units only. So, 27.75 divided by 18, that's your GPA for this particular semester. That's 1.54, And in our university, uh, we use the three decimal places, no? So, approximately, this is 1.542, right? So that would be your GPA for this semester. Okay? Now let's proceed naman on the second semester. So the same process, no? So you have here a copy of your course number, your corresponding grade, and the units. So let's say for example, uh, the units here are still 3. So this is 2 and this is 3. Again, your physical education and your NSTP are not included in the computation of your GPA. So for this one, again, you have to multiply your grade times the number of units, its corresponding units. So 1.25 times 3, that's 3.75. This is 4.5, 4.5, uh, 5.25. This is 6, um, 3.75, and then 4.5. So leave it there. Blank pa na siya. And then next one is to get the sum of these values here, right? And then you divide that one to the number of units, excluding again physical education and NSTP. So that's 3.75 plus 4.5 plus 4.5. Wait, 3.75 plus 4.5 plus 5.25 
plus 6 plus 3.75 plus 4.5. That's 32.25. We divide it one by the number of units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7 only. 7 times 3, that's 21. Okay, again, ayaw pag i si PE o si NSTP. So divide by 21. Uh, 32.25 divided by 21 that's 1.53 uh, okay or approximately this is 1.536 okay if three decimal places Okay, so if four decimal places, so this is one, five, three, five, seven. Okay, happy tama man, wait. So four decimal places. Now for for you to be able to compute your first semester and second semester, so imo lang i add. All you have to do is to add your twenty-seven point seventy-five and thirty-two point. 25. So 27.75 plus 32.25. You divide that one. So total number of units that's 18 plus 21. So this is 27.75 plus 32.25. That's uh, 60 over 39. So so 60 divided by 39. In more average any for the whole semester of the whole year, that's 1.538461 or approximately 5.538. Okay. So that's your GPA. It means that you are, if not if I'm not mistaken, you are a college honor. Okay? So that's it. Thank you.